We had Nyla Rose, Ty Conti. It's one of those matches where, when the match started, I just thought, you know what? Ty Conti should win this match today. Did and she? she did. This happens like 99% of the time when I watch AEW. Like, yeah, the person who should win, wins. On the day that they should win. Yeah, you know it's why? Because that's what should happen. Because they book, they don't book week in, we, every week. They book long term. And obviously, okay, number one, they're building for the tag match next week, which is, um, uh, what is it, Ty Conte and Hikaru Shida against... Um, Bunny and Nyla. Bunny and Nyla, right. And th- and eventually, they're going to get to Shida and Ty Conte. So since they're going to Shida and Ty Conte, unlike with WWE, where the idea is to get somebody over, you, you keep beating them. That's how you get a baby face over. In AEW, when you're building for a title match, I'm sure there are going to be exceptions, because there always are, because it's pro wrestling. But as a general rule, um, in AEW, if you're on the way to a championship match, you're usually going to have a winning streak going into it. What a shocking thing. I know, but people go, it's too predictable. No, that's what makes it right. That's what makes it good. Yeah, well, that's what I think. The other thing, too, is is like, my God. like we, Ty Conte is going to win like most improved this year. She's. It's like every time I see her, she's better. It's like, um, man. I mean, uh, I guess. I guess is, is Dustin Rhodes the one who's training her mo- heart mostly? I actually have no idea. I believe so. Whatever, whoever it is, if it's Dustin or QT or whatever, they deserve a lot of credit because, I mean, obviously she's a good athlete. You know, I mean, she, she but she was a good athlete in the WWE system too. You know, it's not like she became a better athlete by leaving WWE. That's impossible. But she did become a way better worker since leaving WWE. In fact, it's it's night and day. And that has to do with, you know, that has to do with her her, her, her old training and her new training. And it doesn't, you know, it, it, it definitely, um, you know, you would think with WWE earmarking like $20 million a year for freaking training wrestlers, and I'm sure AEW's training budget is minuscule, microscopic, it's kind of a black eye that you know you leave WWE and all of a sudden you you improve at a great pace. That's something like like if I was Vince, I'd be like freaking. I would be really really upset over this one. I really would. I'd just go like, what the fuck? I'm paying twenty million dollars. Where we rented this giant place, we got a million rings. We've got all these special effects. We take this woman from Brazil who, you know, is a good athlete, who's got a great look, kind of got some charisma, and we she sucks. We can't do nothing with her. And then she leaves, and all of a sudden she doesn't suck anymore. And not only does she not suck, she's actually good. What the fuck? It's like, what, what? Like, if I'm Vince, I mean, I'm sure he's not aware of any of this, but, and I'm, and I'm, I'm even more sure no one's going to tell him. But my God, what I mean, like, if you were Vince, I mean, wouldn't wouldn't you be like furious about this? I mean, <laughs> I mean dude, if I were a... Vince, there'd be a lot of changes, Dave. No, this but is probably I mean, low on the list. No, but seriously, this it shouldn't it shouldn't be because like this is one where like you cannot like all you know like you cannot defend this one. It's like we earmark. I can't defend anything on any of these shows that I watch. No, but here's the point: they they devote. So much more money to training wrestlers from the to training wrestlers than AEW. I mean, it's not even close. And they should be turning out, you know, stars, and they should be turning out these people who are great workers. And the idea that, like, you know what I mean? It's like, it's like, what? A, like, all I could think of is, is like, the, you know, I mean, like, it's like there's something. They, I, I'm, again, if I'm WWE. It's like I got to reevaluate this thing because this should not this this should not happen. You know, it's like like when she when they signed her and I thought like okay, you know, I get why you give her a chance because you know, there's you know, there's she's got a good look and everything and I get it, but it's like but she's just not that good. But I get it. You you know, you got to give her a chance. And 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 I even said when they when they got her it's like if she turns out to be good 
boy, is this going to look bad for WWE. Well, anyway, and I thought that there's a chance she was going to turn out to be good because when you're around, like, when you're around, like, really good people who, who don't have limited visions of what wrestling is and you can do more things and you're not told, don't do this, don't do that, don't do this. Here's the rules. We got, we've got secret rules that we don't tell anyone, but these are so you can't break the secret rules and all this stuff that probably goes in your head going like, what? Why does this? None of this makes any sense. Um, but in their minds, it makes sense. But even even when I thought that, like, she'll probably improve leaving, she probably will improve. Even then, I did not think she was going to get as good as she has as quick as she's gotten. So, anyway, this is, uh, you know, I mean, good for her. Good for her. She's going to be, she's getting pushed. She's going to, she has the potential to be a star. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.